There was nothing I wanted to talk about right then. I couldn't escape that way. I had nothing else to ask him. I couldn't escape that way. Hey, Dwayne, I want you to tie this rope to your truck and then drive forward. I would had no idea whether this was really going to work, but I'd seen it in a black and white western. Of course, Hopalong was using a horse and Dwayne had a four-ton truck, but hey, the principle's sound. Anything you say, George! Please forgive my mother. She can be a little difficult. Oh, my feet! How propose, you idiot! Don't mind her. She just wants grandchildren. <laughs> Don't think I can't hear you, Raoul. I want the worthy successor, and you're not it. Propose now, or I'll do it for you. Look, Nico, we haven't known each other very long, but... What the hell was that? I didn't know what was going on, but Georges had to be involved in it somewhere. I ain't gonna say a thing. That sweet sound of falling masonry says it all. Quick, senor. The river. Huh? Wait. What about Nico? George, what have you done? You only had to sneak a look at the chart, and it's turned into World War III. No time to explain. Come on. Don't move, terrorist scum! You talking to me, Junior? Yes, I'm talking to you, fat man! And my name's not Junior! A word to the wise, Junior! You carry on waving that pea shooter in my face, and the next person who sees it is gonna be your proctologist! Savvy? General, I am happy to report that I have apprehended the terrorist! Oh, idiot, not them! The other American and the French woman! They're the When I recovered consciousness, I was alone, washed up on the riverbank. My head was aching fiercely, and my mouth tasted like a swamp. At first, I thought the music I heard was in my head. Just my luck to wind up in paradise with a migraine. But I followed the sound and discovered a treehouse in 